Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your Tuesday evening Facebook Live. My name is Sarah Edwards, and I come to you guys live every Tuesday and Thursday to show you a fun new project. So I usually come out about 30 minutes early to kind of just make sure I'm prepped and prepared and have everything ready. And I'm just making sure my volume is turned down on my iPad, and it is. Um, and I opened up this month's paper pumpkin kit. I was going to open it up with you guys on the live and I was like, oh, let me just save a few minutes and I will open it up ahead of time. And then when I point you down, I'll show you um, the little flyer that's on the inside and it gave me an idea for today's card. So I literally am probably going to scratch everything that I had prepared and do something totally different. So it's either going to be an epic failure or an epic, I don't know, or it's gonna be epic. Um, one of the two, there is really no in between. So hopefully it turns out. Hopefully you guys have had a great day. Um, yesterday I really didn't do a whole lot. I did put the tables, um, oh, closed all the tables and set them on the side, but I didn't really put anything away. And today I came out and did a lot. Um, I decided to dust before I started putting everything away, and then I realized dusting where we live is pretty much like eating Oreos while you're getting your teeth cleaned. It just doesn't work. So I did dust a little bit, and then I stopped, and then I did some more. So everything is still not put away um, and organized. I only have one table left out in the shop, so I am down to one table, which is good. So good evening, ladies. Hello, Bev. Hello, Susan, Valerie. Welcome, and thanks for joining. If you're just logging on, say hello so I know you're here. I am going to point you down because hopefully we can get through a lot of things tonight. Okay, let me point you down. Hopefully I don't make you dizzy. Sorry about that. I have to turn the camera over. Okay. So as I um, said earlier, I decided to open up this month's paper pumpkin and inside the paper pumpkin kit was this fabulous, beautiful card. I don't know if you guys can see the picture of it, but I loved the um, stars in the background and that kind of gave me a, an idea of doing that because this is the original card that we were going to do tonight. I did this um, for one of the make and takes at not this last weekend, but the weekend before retreat. And I thought it was so cute and so subtle and just perfect. But then I got thinking, why don't we use the clear embossing powder and kind of make that same um, kind of design on the back of this card? So we will see how it turns out. So hello, Cassie. Hello, Barbara. Okay. So the dimensions are all still the same on everything we're going to be using. And I brought in four different colors of cardstock. So this is Granny Apple Green. This one's Bermuda Bay, uh, Gorgeous Grape, and Pacific Point. So I'm going to play with the Pacific Point one first. And let me bring in the stamp set we're going to be using. So the Whimsical Christmas, or the Whimsical Tree. So yes, it is definitely um, a traditional, well, non-traditional. It is a Christmas stamp set, but this tree actually works as polka dots. So we are going to try to do maybe kind of like the Northern Lights. I don't know if it's going to turn out like it is in my head, but we will see. So um, this piece of our basic white this measures three and three fourths by five. So I'm just gonna set that down and I'm gonna take my embossing buddy and I'm just going to rub the embossing buddy all over it just to get any static and oils off. Okay, that should be pretty good. So I'll set that aside and I'm gonna bring in the whimsical polka dot tree and You'll be able to see what I'm doing, but you won't be able to see the colors on um, the paper because I am using Versamark. So I'm just going to ink this up, but hopefully we have enough time and I'll show you what it looks like in color. So I'm actually going to stamp the tree upside down. So I'm going to re-ink this every time and I'm going to come over here and stamp it. Just not really randomly. I'm going to try to butt up the edges. I mean, I know it's you can't see it. Um, I'll try, but I don't think you can see the Versa mark that's on there, but it is there. So now I'm going to flip the tree over and I'm going to try to come in and do the inside 
of where I just stamped the opposite side. Hopefully that makes sense. I It will once I get the other colors and you'll be able to see the colors. So I can kind of see where I'm stamping so I know where more polka dots need to be. Um, well, kind of. Oh, there's a spot right there. Let's see. I'm just going to pick this up a little bit to make sure. Oh, that actually doesn't look too shabby. I know you guys can't see it. I'm going to put a tiny bit right there. Okay. But once we do some coloring, you'll totally be able to see it. Okay, so I'm going to pick this up. Try not to touch the inside. And I'm just going to open up my grid paper so I can bring in my clear embossing powder. And I'm just going to sprinkle it on. And I did this um, on my grid paper just so I can flip my grid paper up and dump it back into my container. Oh, let me scooch you up a little bit, sorry. And yes, this is definitely overkill, but I want to make sure I'm getting every piece of it. I'm gonna pick this up and then I'm gonna dump it back in here. And I don't know if you guys can see the polka dots yet, but it will, I promise. I'm gonna set that aside just so I can close this up. Remember what I always say about when you're using embossing powder, make sure your lid is on and it is away from you before you turn on your heat gun. Otherwise, you are going to have embossing powder everywhere. Okay, so let me bring this in. And I was smart this time and I grabbed my um, little clip so I can hold on to it while I heat it so it doesn't burn my fingers. So my girlfriend, Bev, actually gave me these. They're little hemostats. I'm sure you're laughing on the other side because maybe you've used them for other things besides crafting. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be loud, but I'm gonna turn the heat gun on. And I'm just going to heat it up until it melts all of the embossing powder. It'll just take a second. Let's see, while I'm doing this, hello, Heather. Hello, Vicki. Well, hello, Judy. What time is it where you're at? Okay, so it's heating up. Starting to melt. I know it's clear embossing powder on with on basic white paper, you're not gonna be able to see it yet. Hello, Stephanie. I can actually kind of read comments while I'm doing this because I don't have to keep an eye on the paper every second. Okay, so if you're just logging on, I just stamped um, our whimsical tree in Versamark and I put clear embossing powder on it so now I'm just melting the embossing powder and we're going to kind of try to do a whimsical card. Oh I think I got it all. That looks pretty good. Okay so now I want to bring in my Pacific Points. and I'm gonna ink up my dauber, and I'm gonna come in and I'm going to just color on the basic white piece. And yes, I'm kind of coloring over the, um, I am coloring over the embossing powder, but just wait, I promise I will show you what we do with this. Okay, let me scooch it up a little bit. So I'm literally just coloring, and I have a bunch of baby wipes here beside me, so hopefully I don't get my fingers all inky. But if I do, it's okay. It just means we were crafting. So I'm just gonna color this whole thing in. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I know you can see I got a couple little spots there. But I think perfection is what you make it. I have that sign in my craft room. Okay, so now I just have a paper towel. So I'm gonna take the paper towel and I'm going to rub over it. And it's going to take the ink off of the embossed powder and it's just gonna 
hopefully show through the clear embossing. So you're just gonna, yep, it's working. You just need to put a little bit of elbow grease into it. Maybe white embossing powder would have been a little bit better, but I didn't think about that until now. But it's still working. So I, hopefully you guys can see that the white is showing through and it kind of looks like stars in the sky a little bit. And you can keep rubbing until you get all of it clear, but I really like that, I think. Okay, so there we go. So th the next card we do, um, I'll do just the inks um, on it with the tree. So this one, I am just gonna take some of our um, Whisper White ribbon and I'm gonna tie it around and attach it with some mini glue dots. It just kind of gives a fun, whimsical look to your card. I'm just gonna put this right around the center. Oop, trim this off. There we go. And then we can attach this to our first layer. Just gonna flip it over and you can use adhesive of your choice. I prefer Tombow, um, the liquid glue, when you can get it to work, but there's a little booger on the end of it. So let me get that off. There we go. Yep, that works. Just layer that. And then I did put the description um, or the measurements of these guys um, up on before I went live as well. So the, um, let's see, this is Pacific Point. So it's two and a half by two and three fourths. And this is a quarter of an inch smaller. So we're going to do a little bit of stamping on that before we um, attach it. Just in case we have to flip it over. That's why there's two sides to every sheet of paper. So I'm going to bring in the Pacific Point again and I'm going to stamp happy. Stamp that right up at the top. Perfect. And then we're going to do birthday. Oops, that needs a little bit more ink. We're going to do birthday kind of in the center. There we go. That actually worked out pretty good. You know what, while we have this out, let's do a little bit more sponging. Let's sponge the edge around. We didn't do this on the original card, but we have all of this out, so we might as well use it. Okay, there we go. We close up this ink because we are done with this one. I'm gonna flip this over and add some adhesive to the back. Glue that down. Grab some dimensionals. And I'll put a few dimensionals on the back. You can actually tell that this was a scrap piece of um, Pacific Point that I pulled out of my scrap pile because there's some ink up on the corner, but we're not gonna use that side. So nobody will ever know but you guys. There we go. That actually turned out really cute. Like I said, it was either gonna be an epic failure or it was going to be epic, one of the two. So I'm just gonna take my card base and fold this in half. And now we can attach this. And my fingers actually didn't get too inky. I'm really surprised. Usually when I color like that, it gets pretty inky. I actually do think the white embossing powder might look a little bit brighter than the clear, but I really like that. I think it turned out super fun and completely different. And I don't mind the darker spots around either. Okay, so let's do what I intended to do for the Facebook Live. Let me clean off these stamps really quick, just so I don't cross contaminate my colors. There we go. Dry them off and let's bring in the Gorgeous Grape. So I have my ink pad and I'm gonna actually bring back in my grid paper. And 
Let's make sure we're in the camera. There we go. And then I have my um, trees. So now you'll be able to kind of see what I was talking about. So the first one I'm going to put right up at the top. And then I'm going to do another one. I'm just going to butt up the edges. And then this last one is going to come right over here. So now I'm going to flip my stamp over and I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to tuck it into the little triangle pieces. So this is how you can make your own polka dot designer series paper. One more over here and then I'm going to flip it over and there we go. And you definitely want to have grid paper underneath you. Otherwise you are going to have ink everywhere. So let me get that out of the way and let me bring in my gorgeous grape and my basic white piece. Make sure I've got them layered correctly. So we're going to ink up the happy. Clean that off because we might have time to do a couple more cards. And then a birthday. This one I'm going to stamp over to the left a little bit more. There we go. And let me grab some rhinestones. Hopefully I brought my rhinestones over with me. If I didn't, that's okay. Uh, you know what? I have those ones. Let's see what else do I have. I cleaned out my Facebook Live area and hopefully I didn't take everything away. But I think I have a couple over here. So I have some of the, actually those are the peacock ones, but they're still the same, the holiday rhinestones. So I'm just gonna grab a couple, put this right here. And you can actually take your blender pens and color any of the rhinestones, any color that you're working with. So if you didn't know that, you definitely can. So if you don't have the color you need, Grab your blender pens and voila. Okay, so there's that. And we actually do have gorgeous grape ribbon. So I'm going to grab some gorgeous grape ribbon. Wrap this around. Give it a little bit of a haircut. Oops, stuck to my fingernail. There we go. Flip this over, grab some dimensionals that were just here. There they are. And I think these dimensionals came from one of the kits that I got in the mail. As I was cleaning today, I pitched a few of the boxes and took everything out that was in the inside. There we go. Let me close this up so I don't accidentally stick my hand in it. Let me bring in the gorgeous grape card backing. We can attach. I start out all nice, neat, and tidy, and then by the time I need something, everything's covering it. So it takes me a minute to find it. Okay, that gorgeous grape is actually beautiful. I don't know which one I like better. I think the Pacific Point is just different. And I actually might try it with the white embossing powder instead of clear. And these cards are super quick and easy to put together. They do, they obviously, you guys can see, it is taking no time at all. So there is the Gorgeous Grape and there is a completely different style in the Pacific Point. Let's do a Bermuda Bay. I haven't played with Bermuda Bay in a while. Okay, so let me grab my cardstock and then we need our grid paper again. I've already cleaned my stamp off. It was sitting beside me. Thank you for all the hearts. I hope you guys like this. So literally, if you're just logging on, I'm using the Whimsical Tree 
the polka dot tree and I'm making a background. So we're gonna flip it over. Did you guys think that you could use a Christmas tree for a birthday card? I bet you didn't even think about it. Oh, we gotta keep it upside down. I almost flipped it. There we go. Let's make sure the happy birthday is cleaned off because I literally need birthday cards like a crazy psycho lately. I have needed so many of them, which is a good thing. Lots of birthdays out there, lots of people to celebrate. Do you guys send birthday cards out? There's your happy. Yes, Heather, it definitely is. Thank you. And then, oh, let me ink that up one more time. There we go. And I don't have Bermuda Bay um, rhinestones, but these holiday rhinestones have kind of, I want to say maybe they are... Um, Coastal Cabana, maybe? And it's pretty close. I'm actually just going to go with it. I think it turns out super cute with a few rhinestones on the side. Okay, so that's all we need for the ink. And you could definitely do the envelopes as well. I didn't even think about that till just now. So let me find the Bermuda Bay. Let's ink this up. Oh, you were working on birthday cards today, Heather? Very cool. Now you can add some of these. There we go. And I actually wanted to try this out. We probably won't be able to do another card. We actually do need the Bermuda Bay one more time. I don't know how well this is going to work, but we're going to try it. It's either going to be epic or an epic failure. So I'm going to take um, the white ribbon the Whisper White Ribbon, and I just have a sponge, and I'm going to run this through. Hopefully, it works. It left a little mark on my pad, but that's okay. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna trim off the edge, and I'm just gonna bring in my grid paper one more time. I just wanna make sure it's not super soggy wet. So I'm just going to rub that a little bit. And you could probably use your heat gun um, to dry it as well. Yeah, that was a little wet. Let's try that one more time just to make sure it's not going to get all over our card. But I think if you do that in advance, um, it will definitely dry in time. Let's do it one more time. Third time's a charm, right? I don't think you would have to do this if you did it ahead of time, but that actually worked pretty cute. I wasn't sure, and I won't lie, I did not do that ahead of time to make sure it was going to work. I literally thought of it while I was out here, and I went and got all my stuff. The mini glue dot, the mini glue dot came off my finger, though. Oh, and it's still on my finger. What the heck? Okay, we're going to stick that right there. Okay. Now that guy stuck. Oh, <laughs> that's quite comical. Let's just get another mini glue dots. Maybe the ribbon is a little damp and that's why it's not sticking. We're going to make this bad boy stick. Hold on. I got something else up my sleeve. We are going to put a piece of tear and tape back there. Now that bad boy is not going anywhere. We're going to tack her right there. Flip her around and bam. Nope, she's stuck or he, whatever you want it to be. Okay, so let me grab um, the Bermuda Bay uh, layering piece. We're gonna glue this down before I get glue all over my fingers and it messes up our card. <coughs> Super cute. Okay, let's flip this over, add some dimensionals. Okay, 
I like to put one in each corner. And if it's a bigger piece, I do put one in the center as well, just so it doesn't fall in the center while it's transporting through the mail. And you can see I got a little halo right there, but you know what? Nobody's ever gonna know because I just covered it up. Let's grab our um, basic white. It's the thick basic white. I don't know if you guys actually know, but there are two basic whites and there's two very vanillas. So you have one very vanilla that's thick and basic white that's thick. So when you're doing a card, you want to use the thicker for your card base and then the thinner is for your layering pieces. So we have those in basic white and the very vanilla. So there you go. There are your cards for tonight. We do have one more, but I think we are already pushing our limits on time. But which one is your favorite? So we have Bermuda Bay, Gorgeous Grape, and this one is um, the Pacific Point with the clear embossing. Uh, yeah, the clear embossing. And you can see how it did come up on some of the clear pieces. I do think white probably would have been a little bit better, but I still think it's super fun and completely different. Okay, that was your guys' live for tonight. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to shake the camera. I was trying to switch over and move the camera at the same time. So I will be back on Thursday. Tomorrow at, or tonight at midnight starts a 15% off stamp sale. Um, I will try to get the email out tonight. Um, depending on tonight, I will be out here first thing in the morning. I work tomorrow afternoon, so I got a lot to do to tomorrow morning. Um, but I'll send the email out first thing tomorrow morning if I don't get it done tonight. Okay, if you need anything, please feel free to reach out. If not, I will see everybody on Thursday. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.